Hi, Neil here from Camden, and it is a glorious day at Frimley Business Park. And I'm here with Louise. Hello, Louise. Hi, Neil. Louise Granger. Yes. She of the uh, Ravenscoe Crossing. Yeah. You're like pretty famous in, uh, in Frimley and Cowby now. It was for, quite funny. I had one of the children come up to me and say, I've seen you on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I, bet you, I bet your kids will be so proud. Yeah. Oh, I've got mums on YouTube. They're oh, all dear. over the place, yeah. <laughs> so, um, tell us the latest update. And it's a good update, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's positive. Yeah, it's good. Um, the latest update is the work starting this week on the crossing outside Ravenscote School and they're putting in a raised table with I believe some red paint across the top to make it a little bit more visible. That, that will slow the traffic down yeah, straight away. speed cushions approaching it and then speed cushions on the other stretch of the road on the that, other side of the school. That's amazing and that's taken how many months has that taken to get this far? Well I started the petition in September last year. Okay. So we're nearly to a year but not quite. Please don't say your kids are leaving the school now. No, not quite yet. <laughs> I've got one to go one more year and the other one to do three more years. So. Okay, so you're there going to be there, so you're going to see the big benefits of this. Yes, I so, am. Of course, so there's, there's good things and there's bad things. The bad things and you didn't get the Pelican Crossing. Not but yet. they have put the wiring in. They're, for, yeah, they're going to put just the electrics, in case, yes. electrics in the ground so they don't have to dig up the road twice. That's unusual for Surrey Heath, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah, a bit of forethought there. Yeah, a <laughs> bit of planning. Yeah. And... Um, yeah, I'm still sort of in the background trying to find the extra funds for the Pelican. Excellent. That's 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 really good news. So the traffic will be going slower down the um, Chobham Road. Yeah. Okay, but also the busy road as well. Yes. Because they, they're having the, the slow down cushions on there as well. Yes. So, which is fantastic. Um, so do you feel that you've achieved a lot this year? I do. I mean, I do. And I people keep thanking me um the head teacher thanked me at a meeting last week and it, it feels like really anyone could have done it i haven't done anything clever or special you know it's not rocket science as they say i've just got on and done it and i suppose the petition helped a great deal put the pressure on the council so have you ever thought at any point do you know what i'm going to drop this because it's not going to happen no. and did you did you lose your momentum Never. You never. You were. Uh, my my saying is never give up. Keep the pressure on, and until you get what you want. Yeah. Well, that's true, and you've done a fantastic job. Well, thank you very much. Neil. Which I feel like I should give you a badge, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, An Louise. Award. <laughs> An award. Yes. <laughs> well, it's not too late to get the award. Do you know that? So, um, but so, if we do another update, it may be for the Pelican Crossing. Yes. Hope so. That would be good. I'll keep you posted. Oh, well, definitely, definitely, mm. because you know this is one thing that obviously we want to keep running with the updates and, and, and how well it's doing. Yeah. Um, you've got your raised ramp, so the traffic is going to be slower for next term. Yeah, and it'll be more obvious for the cars that there's there's something there they need to stop. I think so. You know, it might help. The other thing is, it will hopefully encourage a crossing patrol person to step forward and take the job on because that's the other thing the crossing patrol ladies that have been there before it's very dangerous found it too scary yeah so maybe with this in place we can get that so it may lead on to other things yeah hopefully well crossing crossing lady you know you're yeah i could do that <laughs> you could do that time. yeah <laughs> drop the kids off <laughs> Get what the, what hours do you work? Yeah, what hours do you work? <laughs> Course to nine to uh, <laughs> just to get the kids across the road and back yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, I can do that in. <laughs> but anyway, Louise, a fabulous job. Well done. Thank you. And I'm sure that uh, you will get mentioned uh, a few more times. <laughs> uh, and in fact, I think they should have an official opening of the crossing. Cutting the ribbon. With you there with the big pair of scissors. Yeah, I'd love to do that. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that'd be good. So that's that's the next step. Okay. Right, Louise wants to officially <laughs> open the crossing. Okay. Whoever's listening out there, she wants to officially open it. Fix it for me. Fix it for you <laughs> with a little glass of prosecco as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it'd be good. No, it'd be, it'd be really good. We're excited for it. Excellent, excellent. And I look forward to hearing your tales uh, on <laughs> further on the next, next part step. Of the journey. Yeah. The next. Yeah, it is. It's like a book, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, thank you very much, Louise. Thank you, Neil. And uh, we'll be catching up with you soon. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Michelle. And I'm Sean. We're from Centre for Dentistry in Camberley. And you're watching Camberley Net.